Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero and welcome to Otter Island, an RPG Maker horror game where you and your friends spend some relaxing time on an island. And at some point, some kind of horror event's gonna happen. Connor invited me and Jeremy over to his summer cottage. Yeah, that's me. I'm cool. It's a nice place. I've been there many times before. I said this as I stared out the window, looking cool. The car ride only takes a little over an hour. Still, it's best to leave early. So it's time to do stuff. Cool stuff. I remember Connor telling me that the place had some weird name. What was it? It was Otter Island, I think. It's not really that weird, that's kind of cool. It's like, oh man, I want to see some otters. It's gotta be some otters on Otter Island. It's the middle of summer. The sun is shining and the water's warm. Perfect weather for swimming, grilling, and just relaxing in general. Until Jason comes. Alright, get your stuff to the guest cabin. I'll put all the food and drinks in the fridge. Okay. I'll be up there in a second. I like you, Protag. I like you and your... You're staring out the windows in the back seat. Picked up bags. I like your dead eyes. Makes me... Makes me think of, like, youth. I like how I just beeline for this. I saw this like, hey, cave? Cave. There's some water casters on the floor. At least we won't go thirsty. Won't get buzzed off Wanda, though. What's up, buddy? I don't even like beer. This one's brand's an exception. Oh, this house over here. Alright, time to go and relax with the others. What's this? It's a drawing of a girl. Something tells me she likes the ocean. I think it's reference to their other game. I think they made a Yuminiki fan game of some sort. It's Jeremy's backpack. Nice place. Pretty comfy. Don't see any otters. Alright, I'm gonna go chop some wood to heat the sauna. Zack, you can have some sticks for the grill? There should be plenty of them all over the place. Around like, ten sticks should be enough. Simple enough. Yeah, you guys handle those. I'll just stay here with my beer. Don't you worry. I'll figure out some work for you to do. Eventually. If we're all alive. Alright, you want me to gather sticks, right? I think I see one over there. There's some... Yeah. Okay, two sticks. Let's see what's over here. More sticks. A plug. The cable isn't plugged in. I can't even reach electrical outlet on the wall. Sticks. Sticks. Uh. What did you want again? It's a brick grill. Yeah, this place is sweet. Connor's backpack is now on the bed. There's some spices and greens on the shelf, along with a water tank on the counter. Fish. There's a mountain pike on the wall. I don't really see anything, like, alarming. Oh, here's a plug. An extension cord. The fridge is plugged in, but this other cable isn't. Let's remember that. It's kind of quiet out here, though, like... This place looks pretty well-maintained, considering. Gotta chop these logs down to thin sticks. That'll make for some amazing kindling. Okay, sauna. More sticks. And here's the lake. I don't think I'll go swimming now, so they have clothes on and all. Hey. 
Did I see something? No? Okay, good. Keep it that way. Sticks, shampoo, the water pipe, and some soap for washing your hands. The water probably comes from a well. Don't need to use the outhouse right now. Put the sticks in the grill, yes. Should be enough sticks for tonight's grilling. You look really happy. Hold up, let me let me go back real quick. Look, I like our like we still look dead inside, but look, our eyes light up just a little bit. Like, yeah, we're gonna grill. We're gonna grill some things, man. There's a little bit of hope left in this world. We're gonna grill. Should be enough sticks in the grill now. Epic. I managed to light the sun as well. There isn't much to do right now, so we can just chill for a while. Sounds good. Look, see, he's excited. It's like, yeah. Yep, grilling. By the way, thanks for bringing us here, Connor. This is the best place to chill during the summer. Yeah. The island is such a calm place. Not to mention the scenery. We came at a really nice time as well. It's still sunny today, but it's gonna be raining for a week starting tomorrow. Reminds me of last summer. At least I have a good reason to stay inside and play games. Good job, loser. Oh yeah, didn't Zack work at a burger joint like a few years back? Yeah, I did. It's pretty close by as well. No wonder your eyes are soulless. Didn't you quit because a female coworker was getting a bit too comfortable with you? Haha. <laughs> I have some embarrassing stories of my own. I might tell you more in the sauna. Speaking of which, we can head there now. It should be warm by now. You guys sure as hell ain't ready for my stories. Where's the otters? Are they coming for a sauna? Man, those wood-burning sauna stoves really are better than electric ones. I know, right? The water definitely wasn't cold, either. Unlike three months ago. Back then, you couldn't even really call it swimming. It was just jumping in the water and climbing back up as fast as you could. Well then, I guess I'm glad I didn't even try the water that time. You guys are sissies. Hey, well, let's get cooking. I like the grill. One of you can go get the food and some drinks. I'm gonna have to skip that one in favor of a trip to the outhouse, chief. I'll handle it. Just a sec. You're not gonna die over there, are you? Because we did see, like, a shadowy figure there. Got food and drinks. There's only two cans of gin and tonic in here. What happened to the rest of our drinks? Oh, that's right. The fridge was too cramped, so we just threw a bunch of our drinks in the sea. In a bucket, of course. Down by the pier. Yeah, there they are. Yeah, you could do that. Got drinks. That's the rest of them. Not very cold, though. Should have known better than leave them in such shallow water when it's this hot outside. Then we get the sad eyes again. It was like a little, we were a little uplifted. Cause you know, we were grilling. We we're like, yeah, grilling, sauna. Now it's like, ugh, drinks are hot. My life sucks. Hey, what's up? You didn't die. Good for you. You feeling all right, Jeremy? Yeah, I'll be there in just a sec. All right. Got the stuff, man. Deliveries arrived. Hey. You you were you were in front of the You're in front of the the place. Then you came from that direction. Hmm. It could just be a might not be anything, it could just be you know whatever. So what's cooking? Hold on. Were you on the terrace just a moment ago? Uh oh. No. I, uh... Huh? What's going on here? Zack, you good? 
Oh yeah, whatever. Let's just get the grilling. Yeah, about that. These batches aren't any fucking good. If only you could go and find a lighter, I might be able to get a fire going. Alright, I'll go look for mine. I think I left it somewhere in my backpack. You're gonna die. You're gonna be the first to die. You know, I don't really trust Jeremy's lighter. Last time that thing worked properly was in 2018. Why the hell has he bought a new one? Nostalgia. He says it has sentimental value. And a really cool picture of a skeleton. Ah, I mean, you can't argue with that. Dude, I forgot my own lighter at home. Do you still have that pink one here? Yeah, I was using it just a while ago. I forgot where I put it. Good luck if you're gonna look for it. Uh, might as well try. Try to see if I can spot our friend anywhere. Hmm. Qua! Hmm. Hmm. Oh yeah. Found long lighter. Look at that. I guess Connor forgot while he was lighting the stove. Scoop of throwing water on the sauna stove. You know, I've never used a sauna before. I wonder how they are. Seems like it's be nice. I've always like lived in hot places. I just feel like it's redundant. I could just go outside and in a sauna. It's like, eh. Maybe I live somewhere where it's like snow. I think Connor would like that lighter. I found the pink one. Looks like you forgot in the sauna. Well, I'll be damned. You were right about Jeremy's lighter as well. Does stay warm for more than half a sec? I think it's right now juice the day before yesterday. I was hanging out with Keith. Yeah, whatever. Let's just get some food on the ground. Starving. The only thing that brings soul to my life is Skrillin. Yeah, some good. There's some good grilling. So anyway, that's why I think Father Gascoin is easier than Cleric Beast. Don't you bring a Bloodborne discussion in here? I'm sorry, Connor. But I didn't understand anything you just explained. I wasn't big on Souls games either. I prefer Minecraft. Minecraft? Didn't expect that one. Such a calm game. You don't think too much. I play mainly for relaxation. I like shooters, like Doom and Fallout. I listen to Nine Inch Nails sometimes, you know, some industrial EDM, stuff like that. Half-Life is nice too. A real retro gamer, huh? I just remembered that we don't have too many drinks left, by the way. Don't you worry, the party's not over yet. I have a huge ball of whiskey stashed under the cabin. I've got us covered for the rest of the night. That whiskey's not enough for the rest of the night. Damn, Connor, let's keep up finding the shot glasses then. Oh boy. Maybe if you had like ten whiskey balls down there, we can talk. Dude, your idea is just 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 not gonna not gonna work, okay? It's not an idea. It's a concept, dumbass. If we didn't I just said, the whole goddamn world would ban from it. Hold on. What's the difference between a concept and an idea. Man, I'm kinda of fucking wasted right now. No shit, dude. You had like eight shots of that stuff. I think it's time for some water. For all of us. Especially Connor. Yeah, whatever. Look a bit more sober, Zach. Guess that's because you held back on the whiskey. I still like that water, though. You know, it's so warm outside. Why not enjoy the weather and chill on the terrace? They play cards or some shit. Why not? For sure, never hurt anybody. And Zach? Yeah. So you're already standing up? Can you turn on the lights on the terrace? Just gotta plug in the loose cord in the greenery, yeah? Next to the fridge. Simple enough. Plug the cord in? Yes. Terrace lights turned on. Thanks, Zach. You guys ever been to Italy? We can talk more about that on the terrace. Yeah, the piece is really better than anywhere else. Real authentic. Man, you're making me hungry. I don't know about you guys, 
but I'm feeling clear already. That's no surprise because you can drink the least. But I feel I feel some change too. I think it'll still take a while for me. My hands got kind of sticky when some of that pink grapefruit stuff was spilled on the table. I think I'll go wash them. The outhouse should be the only proper place for that. But it's dark as hell. I need a flashlight or something. But my phone does have some battery left. Nice. I think I'll manage. Well, they weren't kidding. It's, well, I mean, it is the woods. It's gonna be dark as hell. Um... Sir? This is the carcass of an animal. I can't really tell what it is since it's so mutilated. Its head is missing. Connor never mentioned anything about dangerous animals on the island. I mean, they has otters. Have you seen otters kill something? This wasn't done by any small predator either. The carcass is the size of a fox. I gotta tell Connor about this. But the bathroom... Okay, hands washed. Life good. Uh oh, life not good. Hmm? What's wrong with the light? Low battery, damn it. So much for that flashlight. Cut through here. Hey, Connor. Is there any dangerous wildlife on this island? No at all. This place is way too small for that. Why are you asking? There's a mutilated animal carcass over at the outhouse. Which now bothers me even more if you claim there are no animals that could have done it. A large hawk or eagle could actually drop a carcass. They could, they could take down some big prey. Ugh. Maybe it was a minx or a raccoon dog. Those things have sometimes swum here. Although very rarely. I think the dead animal itself was a raccoon dog. Now that you mention it. That's a bit concerning. Earlier. Did you happen to mention something about seeing Jeremy when he was somewhere else? Yeah. Jeremy said he was in the outhouse when I saw him on the terrace. I really have no memory of meeting you on the terrace. Yeah, dudes. We need to go back inside this fucking instant. Huh? What's wrong? This is a damn horror game, that's what's wrong. We need to get inside now. Just shut up and let's go. I thought this was a slice of life story. All right. You guys just need to stay in here, and there should be no problems. I'm gonna have to go check on a few things. Connor, you're really freaking me out right now. What's going on? Trust me. I'm just as freaked out as you are. But nothing should be wrong. It's not until fall. You specifically don't come here doing fall because of it. Wait, what? Keep the doors locked and stay quiet. Don't worry. I have the key so I can get back inside. Connor, are you gonna die? What the fuck is up with Connor, dude? Tell me about it. As if seeing an ammo of its innards on the ground wasn't necessarily enough. Now I'm really wondering if we're in danger. I'm guessing we should just stay here and wait like he said. I guess so. And then Connor never came back. Connor's been gone for half an hour now. Man, if this turns out to be some kind of prank, I'm gonna beat his fucking ass. I know Connor won't love to tell you that he's not the type to pull pranks. Especially not ones like this. That is really not reassuring. Think we should go look for him? No way in hell am I going out there. The plan is just wait until morning and I hope he comes back until then. The idea of going outside isn't appealing to me either. But what if he's hurt? I, uh... Frack, man, I don't know. All I know is I'm definitely not going out there. I really don't think you should go either, but I can't stop you. Maybe I can find something useful in here. Grab a knife. Yes. Got a kitchen knife. Why'd he have to leave his phone here? He could use that phone as a flashlight. Connor? Connor, you... Damn, I can't see anything. Hmm? Wait. There's a key here under the cabin here. Found a guest cabin key. Nothing there.
I'm assuming the guest cabin is the one that was over here. Gotta navigate. Oh, gotta get the dark. Lock with the guest cabin key. What you got here, buddy? Huh. There's a key on the inner side of the table. Found a cellar key. Ooh. Now where's the cellar? Oh, is this kind of the cellar? Yeah, unlocked the cellar key. There's an extension cord among the junk. Okay. What can be inside this crate? Hmm, what's this? I hit something metallic and the knife broke. It's a safe. <laughs> Looks like it needs to be opened with a code. Code doesn't work. Some garlic onions on the shelves. Well, the extension cord, there was something that had to be plugged in. Let's cut in through the house. It's lit this way. Did you find him yet? No. Me back on his own, it seems. Open the door for Connor? Without asking? Sure. Hey, Connor. Are you a monster here to murder us? Or Jason? It might have been a monster, Jason. Don't know. No. Jeremy. I don't think we should open the door. What the hell do you mean? Connor's outside. Let's let him in. But why would Connor be knocking on the door? He said he has the key. Then who the fuck hell is out there? I'll peek for the window. There's no one out there. What? what? There's nobody outside. I seriously don't see anyone in front of the door. I'm really starting to freak out now. I'm still out there with whatever that is. Well, I'm still not going out to the rescue him, dude. I'm not sure if he's even still alive. I can't really blame you for that decision. But Connor's been my friend since childhood. I feel like I wouldn't be able to live with myself if I did at least try to do something. God damn, I'm gonna be alone in here. Man, this is this is getting really about bros, man. So out here like we're looking not for each other. Some kind of monsters grabbing your bro. Out here grilling meats. You know what I mean? This is some friendship game. Except for you, Jeremy. You're a bad friend. Now I'm gonna go out there and die like a good friend. Connecting extension cord, yes. Should get some lights. The light on the grill turned on. Hey, what's this? Flashlight. Found a flashlight. Did Connor drop this? At least I can actually explore. But it's a pretty narrow field of vision. It just occurred to me. Whoever's out there might have done something to the boat. The boat! Where's the... Where's the... Okay, seriously, where's the... Uh... There we go. Oh, boat's fine. The oars are missing. The oars are missing! How are we getting off this island without the oars? I gotta tell Jeremy. Grab some sticks. You dead? Okay, good. Jeremy, the oars to the boat are missing. Please tell me it's a fucking joke right now. All you do is sit there and complain. Help me. I wish it was. Try to stay calm. I'll figure something out. I saw some tool or tools earlier on the wall next to the chopping block and the firewood. Maybe we could find some sort of substitute for the ores there. I'm fucking praying that you do. Oh, the, um, the spoon things. No. A scooper from Warren's on a stove. Bowl of water? No, that's not it. Oh, yeah, here, here we go. I don't think these tools are any good in getting that boat moving. Still might as well take something, right? Gordon Freeman! Oh yeah, there was a, uh, crate. 
Break up the crate? Yes. Huh. There's an unusual out outboard motor here. That explains why the crate was unopened as well. This might be able to get out of here after all. Here's hoping Connor's family has gasoline stashed around us somewhere. It might not be that unlikely. Connor's told me that they used these kind of motors here before. I should tell Jeremy. Seriously, Jeremy. All you've been doing is sitting there. Help me. Wait a minute. Uh. Connor? You're not going to be Connor. You're weird. Run. Don't have to tell me- oh. oh god, you're so fast. You're so fast! Whew. Whoohee. What the hell was that? Let me in! You believe in fairies, don't you? I do, that's why I'm not letting you in. Back, you good. Find that lighter yet. I have a huge bottle of whiskey stashed under the cabin. What do I do? I think it went away. Whatever that was, it was definitely wasn't Connor. It looks like there was no hint under the crate. Found written hint. How many steps to water? How many yellow lines in the triangle? How many memories displayed? How many places to slumber? It's numbers. We'll worry about that later. Yo, there's a monster. Oh wait, shiny. But still first. What just happened out there? Why was Connor chasing you? Why are you not helping me? That was not Connor. Listen, I have no idea what's going on. I found a motor for the boat. We just need fuel to get out of here. Connor mentioned something about his dad leaving some fuel for him before we picked you up earlier. Maybe you could find it somewhere. I don't have much of a choice. Let me stick out of the side pocket. A map. Connor, I left you some gas so you and your buddies can go boating. I had to hide so any of your cousins wouldn't have found it first. You know how long fuel would last if they did. Okay, cool. Sweet. Some gas. On oh, gasoline. Alright. We're also the gallery now. I should inform Jeremy. Useless! I found the fuel. Great, now let's get the hell off this rock. Soul up, man. Yes, probably we're gonna get a bad ending. Or neutral and then we leave now. But we're just gonna leave now, sure. Bye bye. We left the island together with Jeremy. Who did not help whatsoever, let me remind you. We even managed to save our belongings. Luckily Connor left his car keys in his backpack. So we were able to drive away from that place. We never saw Connor again after that night. What was meant to be a fun and relaxing day with friends ended up being a nightmare that I doubt us will ever be able to forget. I had known Connor since childhood. I only hope that Connor's family, whoever sits foot on that damn island again, won't have to see Connor either. Ending 2. Bad ending. Poor Connor, man!
Oh god. That sounded like it came from behind the big cabin. No! Connor! Get get the fuck out of here! It's, it's used me to lure you! Even though we never leave bros behind, except for bad endings. The party's not over here yet. Run! It's never chasing me. Yes, it is. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Whoa, 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 How many steps to water? How many yellow lines in the triangle? How many memories to split? How many places to slumber? Yeah, there's photos over here. How many yellow lines in the triangle? How many memories displayed? There's five there, and then... Places to slumber. Two beds. Four. Looks like I got it. Found a revolver. Lock and loaded. That's slightly surprising. I thought they might have a shotgun or a rifle on the island. But a handgun's more unusual. It's already loaded as well. I don't know what to do if I see that thing again. Hope this thing's got some stopping power. Six bullets. I'm hopefully that's more than enough to kill something that's quite supernatural. Alright, we got a gun now, Connor. Don't worry. Flat. The party's not over yet. Run! Oops. It's a quick time event. Up. X. Down. Flat. Yeah, you better get out of here. I got gun. Come on, Gunner. Let's go. Never leave our bros behind. Isn't that right, Jeremy? All three of us left the island together. We managed to save our belongings. Connor had suffered broken bones and deep lacerations, so our first stop was the nearest hospital. Connor would probably be alright, according to the doctors. It was meant to be a fun and relaxing day with friends that ended up being a nightmare that any of us will ever be able to forget. Connor seemed to know more than he was telling. He would simply not elaborate on the events more than being old family stuff. Whatever it was, I hope one day I won't have to see that creature's wide grin in my sleep anymore. Ending one. Good ending. Oh, look! There is a, uh... Can't really base the things off of. Soul. So that's it for Otter Island. This may kind of feel like earlier RPG maker horror games. Not like the oldest ones, like Aoni and them, but uh, kind of like the second generation, I suppose you would call them. Because it has that format where it's shortish, like a half hour or so. It's a relatively contained story. It's not fully explained, and it's just scary horror things happen to our protects, and you have a die or you don't. Which is perfectly fine. I, I always kind of like simpler games sometimes. I do like complicated games with deep storylines and everything. It's just, see, if, if you if you mess up like a complicated game, then it's really messed up. 
But if your storyline is just kind of like simple, typical horror kind of stuff, like, oh, woods, weird unexplained thing happens, we manage to escape, we have just barely our lives, then you just get like a simple enjoyment of it. So overall, I liked Otter Island, like I think I kind of implied earlier. It's just a uh, fun, straightforward horror RPG maker stuff. Anyway, so thank you all for watching me play Otter Island. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.